Hey guys, and welcome to the first video in the Halloween costume makeup installment. This is a marionette doll, a puppet, ventriloquist doll, what have you. So the first thing I'm going to do is just even out her complexion by adding some foundation. I'm just buffing out that foundation to make sure it's all smooth as the base for the rest of the look. Now I'm just using my Coastal Scent palette to add just a neutral shadow all over her lid so it has some color there. Next, I'm going into the crease with a mixture of a chocolate brown, a clay colored brown, and a purple shadow just to add some depth into the crease. And I'm extending that color into the inner tear duct on the side of the nose. Now I'm just doing a simple classic wing on her eyes. Now I'm taking the NYX Milk White Jumbo Liner, just using the product on a brush. And I'm going to do a semicircle underneath her eyes to kind of act like an extension of her actual eye color. I mean the whites of her eye. I'm just dabbing some white shadow just to set that creamy liner underneath the eyes. Now I'm drawing two horizontal lines out of her lips and dragging those lines, those lines downward to kind of create the cutout for the mouthpiece because on marionette dolls the mouth literally just drops out so to make it look like it's being held by a hinge and I'm doing the same lining and this is just with basic um, MAC black check liner doing the same lines underneath the cheekbones just to carve those out and then taking a dark chocolate eyeshadow and a flat shader brush to kind of blend that liner out and to start to create the depth. Now I'm going to be using a conjunction of starting off with this dark brown, then going into a clay colored brown, into a soft mid-tone brown to kind of create the gradient to make the cheeks look as if they have been carved out of her face. And this just takes some nice blending for it to look how I want it to look blending upwards to create volume. So by creating the volume in the cheek, I'm going from the darkest color to the lightest shade, which will hit the middle of her cheek. And the same technique is what I'm gonna use on the outer corners of that mouthpiece.
So same exact technique, using the dark brown to revise that outline and blending it out. Then using a clay colored brown, then a mid-tone brown, sort of like a milk chocolate colored brown into something that goes more with her skin tone to kind of create that gradual blend. Again, this look is basically playing with lights and dark. Now I'm just going to use a NYX red lip liner. And on top of that, I'm going to add the Sephora Matte Red Lipstick. Now I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just blend out those areas till I'm comfortable with it. Now I'm doing a little shading on both sides of the nose. Dropping it down under the tip of the nose and then blending that out. Sort of like contouring the nose but I want the contour to show a little bit harsher than how you should be doing it on a normal basis. Just filling in those brows with a Anastasia Granite Brow Powder. So I'm basically using a mix of a black liner brush and brown slash black shadow to kind of create the veining that you would find in wood. I'm just going around and basically doing this whole detail all over the face. On the nose, I'm going to do what looks like a little swirl that you find in the center of wood. I wanted that directly on the center of her nose. And I'm literally just going around the rest of the face and making little squiggles, little Y looking shapes. Not perfect, I just wanted lines all over the face to kind of emulate her being a little bit more wooden.
Now I'm using the Makeup Forever white paint and applying that over the white just so it's a little bit more crisp. Now I'm using black chalk liner to outline the whites under her eyes. Now I'm going to create little lashes using the Sephora Thin Liner Brush. Now I'm just taking an Inglot um, eyeshadow pigment that has a lot of iridescence to it that practically looks clear. I'm spritzing Fix Plus all over her complexion and then dusting that glitter on, that glittery pigment on just to give an iridescence to the skin to make it look more doll-like. And I'm just re-outlining certain parts with a thin angle liner brush and this is the completed look. This was so fun to do and I also have some others coming up. There are five more looks in this series. Take a look at the next look, which would be a recreation of Bambi.